Hello you guys. This is Sharon Henry from Spin, Knit, and More.com. I'm coming to you in my dining room today and I've got something today I want to show you. I got a brand new Shack Sidekick Spinning Wheel. So I'm going to open it. I've got it this morning and I've been very impatiently waiting so that I can film me opening it. It's taped very well. I'm going to be out of the camera at times so you won't see me. I am very excited but I'm one of those people that likes to kind of open things slowly, take my time. I've got a bulky plier, bulky flyer, plier pack ordered from the same lady that I got this from. I'm very pleased with how it's wrapped. You can't see anything, you're off camera. Let me move this around like this. And maybe you can see a little bit. I'm going to bring the camera over here. There is the top of the wheel. You actually need two people, I think, to do this because someone needs to hold the end of the box while you pull the sidekick out. That is the carry strap. And I think that's a thank you note. And this is the end of the box down here. Sorry about that, you guys. That was my husband. Uh, we're getting our little great-grandchild tonight and he likes fish, so he went out and got some uh, fish fillets and we're gonna fry fish for him, or me, my husband, one of us will. Uh, let's see. Sidekick spinning wheel. Assembly instructions. Tells you your accessories are three travel bobbins, one flyer, one medium whirl, one fast whirl, one threading hook, one carry strap. There's a thank you card in here. Here is the strap. And the threading hook. The uh, light overhead is reflecting pretty badly. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Anyway. That's the threading hook. I like the feel of that. I have another threading hook for another spinning wheel. It's a different kind. And it doesn't have the roundness on the end that that has. I like that. <sighs> I don't know if you can see very well. I might take my tripod down to a lower level. I'm going to see first what I need to do. It says to unpack it, so let me just turn the video off while I take the p different parts out uh, but first I'm going to show you how it looks. This was separate in a separate part in the box and this is how everything is fastened together here. And actually the wheel feels a little heavier than I expected it to be. It's supposed to be about 13 pounds, but it's packed very well and it mostly unfolds. So let me get some of the string off and the parts out and we'll see where we go from there. Unscrew these and they went counterclockwise. And then you bring this down. There are two holes in this. Then this place right here is meant for when you fold up, and you probably can't see what I'm doing on that side as well, but there are two holes in this. All right, it goes right here for when you want to store it and travel. Then you take it down. Okay, you guys, these two treadles slide together right here at this piece, right where this is, and they form a zigzag seam and fit snugly right there together. Okay, I'm gonna see what my next step is. My next step is to secure this. And you just press it into place. It comes preset from the factory and you press it into place. That's it. Sorry guys, 
had a telephone call I had to answer. Uh, these knobs that you store right here, or you put there through the first hole in the pedal, is used to secure this at the hole that is closest to the wood for the footman. I believe that's called the footman. That's pretty easy. So the next step is to release the lever on the front maiden and bring it all the way forward. So I'm going to have to stand up and turn this around and show it to you. Just like that and like that. And we bring the front maiden all the way forward. And you open the back one, and I've already done that. And move the rear maiden back till it touches the stop. And look there, another bobbin. When this reaches the stop, you close the lever back. Okay. Now, the front lever maiden, I still got it open, and it said to pull it forward. It's pulled forward. And you install the bobbin and the whirl. Got the bobbin here. Look at that. They've already got some leader yarn on it. And the whirl, there's one here. And there's a smaller one on the other side. See that? Okay. I'm going to take this one. And use it. Stuck a little. I'm going to stop a minute, get back with you in a minute. Okay, I'm supposed to put the bobbin on the flyer and the whirl. The large end is to point, supposed to point towards the end of the shaft. So, I'm assuming, see this end, and then there's that end. I'm assuming that's the larger end because it has the filled in area there. Then you install the flyer assembly onto the wheel. Okay, this is the way the whirl goes. The smaller end next to the bobbin, the larger end next to the shaft, at the end of the shaft. Then you slip the Scots tension. That's hard for me to say. <laughs> you put the um, I'm kind of backwards here, I think, to you, so I'm going to turn this around. I'm having some problems with my uh, remote control on and off switch. Anyway, for my phone, your drive band goes over the whorl. That's the wooden part at the back. It has two different grooves on it, and you choose the groove you want, whether you want the faster one or the slower one. But first put your Scotch Tension brake band over your bobbin in the groove meant for it. And it does have a little eye screw inside there that it goes through. Then you put your Scotch Tension over your whirl in the chosen speed. Line up the shaft of your flyer through the, through the front orifice and through the back. And then you clamp it, your easy clamp down. And it should be ready to go. Now I'm going to read some more instructions and get back to you in a moment. One thing I wanted to tell you is the flyer, front maiden and rear maiden have inside, and I don't want to turn this over too much, but 
there are stops in there. See those right here? The front maiden and rear maiden have to be pushed up against those and vertical before you clamp them down. They have to be aligned. On your front maiden too, right here, there needs to be a tiniest little bit of a gap. So make sure to release your front maiden enough to get a tiny little gap right there so that you don't put that in a bind for the bearing right there. All right, the instructions tell you that you can easily store your thread hook in the slot in the front maiden right here and take it out when you need it. There's a little spot right there, goes between it. I don't think you can see it, but it hangs right here. It's between your orifice up here and the screw right here little sl tiny slot. I, I'm kind of backwards so I'm having a hard time. Get up here where I can see what I'm doing. Right there. There's a little spot right up high close to the orifice. All right, I don't think I've told you but there's a little rod right here and one on the bottom of the wheel right there. My electricity just went off. Hi. Well, this is a couple days later. I was having problems with my electricity. It was going off and on and off and on, and I didn't get to finish my review about the shack spinning wheel. Number one, there are two places where you can um, hook the strap for carrying. For travel. One is right here. You can see a little steel bar right here. And the other one is down lower. I have you up higher, so that's another thing that you can see the top better. Right here is the other hook. You can hook it there and fold it up and carry it. Another thing that I guess these are just about everything is a pro on this. A little sidekick spinning wheel. I have one con. The instructions are very good, but in one area they weren't quite clear for me, and that is the drive band um, pathway. First of all, when you get them, the spinning wheel, your spinning wheel has the drive band hooked here and the scotch tension for the bobbin, this right here, is hooked here. When you uh, take it loose and put your bobbin on, you have to be careful. Put your scotch tension on the bobbin first. Then when you do your drive band here, there is a path you follow where the drive band comes up over the wheel. It goes under. If you're facing the wheel as if you're going to spin, it goes under the pulley that's on the left. I might can turn this over a little and show you. There are two pulleys right here, one on the left and one over here on the right, if you're facing the front of the spinning wheel. You want to go make sure your, your cord is looped in such a way that it goes straight under the one on the left. And that means that then the loop will turn this way. You put it over your whirl, but the other part has to come in front of the pulley on the right. Now, having said that, if you're not careful, you'll get them a little bit out of line and the cord would be backwards in which case it would be touching the other mechanism and the scotch tension. So you have to be careful which way, if you look at it and you don't think you've got it right and it's touching your scotch tension, then you don't have it right. So you would go under and loop it the other direction and go under the pulley on the left, up over your whirl and down on the pulley on the right. 
Another thing that isn't talked about, I don't think, very much is down here on the bottom, on the inside, there is a pulley here with a spring. As I understand it, that is a tension for your drive band. Apparently, if your drive band becomes loose and doesn't operate quite like it should, if it gets stretched out somewhat, I believe that that is for putting it under that pulley and giving it a little more tension, It should you need it. And that's not mentioned anywhere that I have seen or heard any reviews on the Shack spinning wheel. So anyway, I think that will be all that I can talk to you about um, on this today. Um, I'm going to uh, do a little spinning on it and I'm going to try to set up and video just a little bit of that as I get started. And uh, pros, it's very portable. It's uh, fairly easy to put together. There was a little complication here and there for me. One was in getting that drive band to track correctly till I figured it out. I read it word for word and tried it two or three different times, but I got it right. And um, the other was in pulling the two treadles together. Um, that, that was a little um, firm when I tried to put them together, but I, I got it done. Um, the travel bobbins, you get three with it. And what I wish is for the price and everything, I would like to get at least one wooden bobbin with it. So I think it would be nice if they came with, if it came with um, two travel bobbins and one wooden bobbin in order to give you uh, the chance to try them both and see which work best for you. I do have the bulky flyer plier package, as I said earlier, or the other day, uh, ordered to go with it. And um, I'm going to use these and try these travel bobbins out. They're very light, and I think I'll like them. But at the same time, I would like to have some wooden bobbins to go with it to try them out because some of my yarns, I think I might would prefer a wooden bobbin, a little more drag or something. You have the option of ordering wooden bobbins when you order the spinning wheel, but I did not. I wanted to get it like it came because I knew I could order wooden bobbins later. I did change from the larger, which as I understand it would be a slower whirl for bigger yarn, that's uh, actually attached to the side of the uh, spinning wheel on the left side for the smaller one that was attached here because I want to do like lace weight yarn. Um, anyway, that's what I've got to say about it. Pros are, it's lightweight, it's portable. It, I have treadle just a little bit with my hands on it to see what it's like and I've heard people say that it sings and it does but it's a pleasant sound and another thing is uh, well I don't see very much about that I don't like I like everything I see about it so far and I am very very impressed with quality um, the wood is thicker than I thought it would be and very uh, very high quality and it's finished and um, I like that because I don't want to have to finish something. Um, it's a real light finish. It's kind of clear, I believe. But anyway, I like it. I like everything about it. And now I've got to start using it to see if there are maybe other things that I like even better about it or maybe not quite so much. So this is upon opening it and getting it set up Pros, high quality, pleased. I'm actually pleased with the weight. It's a little heavier than I thought it would be, actually, and it seems very well balanced, and um, I like all that. Cons would be the drive band was a little difficult for me to figure out. The um, uh, pressing the quick release levers was a little bit difficult for me because of my arthritis in my hands but 
not too much so um, now I've just got to sit down and use it so I guess that's all on this review until I do actually do some spinning with it so I'll catch you in the next segment or the next video in case I decide to just make another complete video on the spinning. Bye-bye.